Hi, my name's Helen. This is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. Um, any newbies, the Hell's Bell thing is just um, a little name that my daughter came up with for people who regularly watch my channel and they're kind of part of our community. You can be one, you cannot be one, you can ignore it, you can find it annoying, but it's just a little hello to my regular ladies. Um, so, um, first of all, <laughs> thank you for all the support on um, the video I did yesterday about the guy who reneged on the deal with the caravan. Um, I, some of your comments have made me actually laugh out loud. The poor, well, I say the poor chap. No, I, I can't say the poor chap um, gets what's coming. But some of you have made me laugh with things like, I hope his toilet explodes while he's sitting on it and um, hope the wheels come off. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'd have you all there, wouldn't I, defending me. I really appreciate it. It's so kind of you. And I, I kind of, I, I'm sorry I got upset yesterday. I was so overtired, honestly. I had only had about four or five hours sleep and I, I can't manage on that. And I'd had a bad night the night before as well. But I had a brilliant night last night. Um, honestly, it's like talking about children, isn't it? Babies, when you get older, it's like, did you have a good night? Yeah, I slept through. How ridiculous, but it's a challenge. Um, anyway, so that was that. Um, everybody, uh, the vintage thing goes live tonight. So I'm hoping to get this video. Well, it will get loaded today. Um, so today's Tuesday after yesterday, the bank holiday, which throws us out for the week, doesn't it? Um, I was talking to mum this morning and uh, she thought it was Monday. And I just think all week we're kind of a bit behind ourselves, but also quite sad that that's the last bank holiday now until Christmas. Um, yeah, the time goes so quickly, doesn't it? But oh yeah, I had a laugh with mum this morning. Um, one lovely lady commented and said, oh, when I'm in Hedge End, I always hope I'm gonna bump into you. And I said to mum, well, we should have a meet and greet at Hedge End. I said, we probably get quite a few ladies turn out. So I think quite a few of you live kind of within striking distance of the South Coast. And uh, she stole at Christmas, because at Christmas, there's like, it's one of these um, retail parks where you've got Marks and Spencer on one side and Sainsbury's on the other. And they're kind of in the same very large building. And there's a kind of walkway between the two that's undercover like a little a atrium kind of area and at Christmas they have a great big chair like a throne and she's I mean we're just having a laugh and and I said and she said oh you could sit in there to meet everybody and I said you could be my elf and then we went ridiculous talking about how the police would be called and <laughs> I envisioned some mum being dragged off in an elf costume so we, we did have a good laugh about that this morning so I'm absolutely fine yesterday was just um I'm terrible I'm a very emotional person too emotional you might say but I will say that's the other side I think if you've got quite um an outgoing personality quite often you know it's the yin and yang of that that person so I am over emotional but I'm also kind of over exuberant as well so you know it's just the other side of my personality really so um yeah like I'm fine I'm absolutely fine um and onwards and upwards as they say but anyway to get oh and I must just thank um who was it oh Caroline Mrs M mentioned me on her channel which was nice a few ladies told me about that um so today I have got its huge um, H&M haul and I hope it's good, a good one. There's a lot of sweaters in there and thankfully, although it's quite a nice day, the cabin is very cool until the sun comes on it at kind of midday. What time is it now? Oh gosh, it's quarter 12, so we're nearly at midday, so I better get a wiggle on. So I'm going to try on... Um, the sweaters first, I think there's about four sweaters, a couple of dresses and a suit. So without any further ado, I will crack on and film those. So let's see how we get on and uh, hopefully they'll be good. The suit looks like it might need, might be a bit creased, but you know, we'll just have to ignore that. I've got no facilities down here for steaming it or whatever. So um, yeah, let's see how we go. 
Oh, this first uh, jumper is a uh, polyester polyamide, you know, synthetic mix with a little tiny bit of wool in it. It's a lovely colour. It's um, like a pale camel and it's got a really nice feel to it. Now, obviously, I don't know how this is going to wash and wear, but it is incredibly soft. It was 18 99 and this is in an extra large. So it's a nice length. I've just got it on with some denim jeans and um yeah it really it feels very good i love this quite wide v that it's got so it's um easy to wear with um you know like i've got it on with just a vest top i say you know you know i prefer wool cashmere and all that but sometimes you just can't get the kind of more fashion forward jumpers it's got the you know, the, the kind of finished border here. Just shut, shut this bedroom door so we've got, I've got that black hole behind you. Um, yeah, so I'd say it's not, it's not bad. It's very soft, very soft. I mean, it looks, looks a lot better than 1899. So that's just the first sweater. You know, I just, I just went through the website and found a few bits and pieces. Um, and thankfully it's quite chilly down here so i'm not roasting to death in this sweater jumper pullover whatever you want to call it so that's the first one 18.99 this is actually classed as um a sweater dress but i thought it might be nice over some kind of um like i, I don't really wear leggings but you know some really slim legged trousers but look at this God's name is this about? This is, uh, what size is this? This is an extra large. <laughs> oh, yeah. I honestly, I, I, I've i lost the words, really. I mean, they're not just a bit long, are they? And there's no, and there's no coming back from that. I mean... It's a similar fabric to the last one. It's really nice and soft. And I like the neck. And I, I, I just don't know what to say about this, really. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's what I'm going to say. It's ridiculous. How much was it? $27.99. Doesn't really matter. It's going straight back. Bonkers, bonkers, bonkers. Who's got arms that long? Now this looks so promising. It's a lovely, it is a synthetic mix, but it's that lovely, I don't know, it's kind of quality. It feels like quality. It's got a nice neckline, but it's just a bit too short for my liking because it's kind of sticking out from there. If it would have been another three or four inches, I would have really liked it. It has got long sleeves, but you know, you could fold those back without too much problem, but it's so nicely made. It is, you know, it was obviously more expensive, but it feels like it. It feels like quality, and I think this would wash really well. But for me, it's just a little bit on the short side because I don't want it kind of hanging from there and just, you know what I mean? Just be great if I had a baby bump. But uh, it for me, it just needed to be a tad longer and then it would have been a keeper, but you know, it is 30, 38 quid really. So, but very smart, very classy. What did I get this in? I got this in an extra large as well. H&M hey, um, is strange with their sizing. Um, you know, their, their stuff tends to be on the small side, but I'd say when you get to the bigger sizes, they are more generous. I'm holding this down because I'm worried about getting makeup on it. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you're shorter and not as busty, I think this is a really lovely, very smart, look great with um, navy trousers or, you know, white jeans, actually. So yeah, not too successful. Let's see what the next one is. Now, they call this a sweater vest. Um, I wear quite a lot of these kind of slipovers in the winter over shirts and um, t-shirts and things, because they do give you that 
extra warmth without the bulb. This one I'm not so sure. It's got these huge arm holes, which I mean, I always be wearing something underneath it. And then it's got quite a high slit up here. So I put my shirt back on under it. But I think with a, you know, if that was a plain t-shirt, doesn't look too bad, you know, if that was in a darker colour. But what I will say with these is they sell out really quickly. I've noticed, I usually get a couple each year from H&M is very good for these. And this again is um, a synthetic wool mix, but it has got a nice feel to it. And it is, um, what should I call it? Light beige marl. And this was 19.99. And I think they do pill up a little bit, but you know, you can use your debobbler with that. But um, it's a good place to look for these. And they're quite often called vests in there. If you're searching for them, uh, I usually put the word sleeveless, but obviously you can get a lot of um, actual vest tops up. But it's not bad. It's got a similar edge to that sweater, but, uh, you know, I don't think that's terribly flattering when it kind of flares out to the front like that. I would have preferred it to just be stitched down at least most of the way. But anyway, there's food for thought if um, it's something you're in the market for. I would definitely keep your eye on H&M and their prices are very reasonable. So, um, yeah, what's next? This is Visco's and this is sold as a tunic dress and this is a large and I think I probably could have gone down in size on this because it is a bit too big. It's this nice snake, snake print. It's got very uh, voluminous sleeves. But um, as I say, I think this had been a bit smaller, I think it would be a keeper because I quite like wearing this kind of thing in the winter with or autumn, you know, with just a slim leg trouser. As I say, it's um, that recycled viscose. I don't know, it might be a mix, I'm not sure, but it's quite nice, I think. It's just too big. See what I mean about H&M, they can be really on the slim side, like the fitted things I've got look quite small, so it'd be interesting to see. I mean, this is obviously, this is a dress, um, so I mean, if you're shorter and you can wear it maybe with thick black tights, or like me, I would have worn it over a slim leg trouser, um, but you know, don't dismiss it is what I'm saying, have a good look at their website, because obviously they're all tiny young model bits of things showing everything. But, um, you know, there's some hidden gems in there. So, um, yeah, just too big, I think. And I think this came in other prints as well, I'm not sure. But uh, very cool. You could wear this all year round, really, couldn't you? If it was the right size, but it's not. So, goodbye. Now, this one, I must have got carried away with the colour because I absolutely love this colour. It's like a soft sage green. But this is 100% acrylic and it feels like 100% acrylic. It feels thin, it feels nasty, it feels like it wouldn't survive one wash. This was, I got this in an extra large as well, but um, it's it's such a shame because the actual style of it, okay, the, the sleeves are quite wide, but you know, if I was doing anything where I needed to, I could just roll those up. But it's got no body to it at all. And yeah, did I say this was 19.99? It's a shame because if it was those other compositions of fabric, I think it would be a winner. Um, and I never buy anything that's 100% acrylic because it just doesn't stand the test of time. But um, yeah, I obviously got carried away with the colour and didn't look at the um, fabric, which isn't like me, to be honest. That always is my deciding factor and whether I buy something or not. So disappointing. But, you know, it's too big as well, isn't it? But it's going straight back. You never know until you try. The colour got me. Now, this is a lovely fabric. This is um, called, this is large and it's light greyish, they've said. And this feels really good. This has got um, polyester, acrylic and wool. It's a lovely feel and a lovely colour. Um, it's a sweater dress. I think it's rather nice, actually. I mean, I need the, a slip on or something under it. It's got these slits. Obviously, I wouldn't wear it with bare legs in the 
in the winter it would have i'd have black thick black tights under it it's kind of fitted but it's not stupidly fitted and it's nothing that um probably tights would would be sufficient to, to put it in but i think that's really classy looking i'm really taken with that how much did i say this was um yeah it's 45 pounds so it's it's not inexpensive but i guess you get what you pay for but you know you could wear this over a polar neck or a shirt if you wanted to but equally i think with just some thick black tights and uh i don't know is it too too um clean tastic i'll decide on the uh when I see the video, but it really feels nice, really nice. I could see me wearing this out for lunch or, um, you know, shopping even just with a crossbody bag and some boots. I think it would look cool. So, um, yeah, I've got another two dresses and a suit to show you. But, I mean, I might be completely deluded. I might think, what were you thinking when I look at it in the mirror in the, on the video? But, um and hard, you know, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's right up there. But uh, with, with thick tights on, I think that would look rather nice. So that's a possible. That's the... This and the first jumper at the moment are the only two things that I might keep. But uh, I'd have to try it on with uh, tights on or something because it's all too clingy around here at the moment. But then this is a large, you know. I think they said it came up big, which is why I didn't get the extra large. But... Uh, I do like it. Now, this dress is 100% um, polyester and it was 44 99 And it's kind of what I'd call a useful black dress. It's got these kind of angel sleeves, which are very flattering, elasticated here. It's got a little rouleau loop here, so you can do that up. I've left it open. And then it's um, pleated all around the hem. Uh, like I say, I have got dresses like this in my wardrobe, which are just very useful. I know it doesn't go with the, the white trainers particularly, but I, I'm in the cabin, so I don't have a big selection of shoes. But, um, yeah, as I say, forty-four ninety-nine, and and 100% polyester. It's got a nice feel to it, really easy wash and wear, great for the office or, you know, if you've got a funeral or something, or that you just need to look smart quite good with a jacket over it um so they did this in green as well i think um do you know that's another little tip for you when you're looking at things sometimes when you put the black one on on the picture you know when you're looking on the website you can't really see the detail if they've got it in a color i look at it in the color and that if i want the black i can kind of see the detail of it because on the camera obviously you can't really see anything can you um but yeah so that's that's what I do. So it's not a bad dress. I don't need it. I won't be keeping it. But it, I guess it looks looks about 50 quid's worth, doesn't it? But a handy, a handy dress. I think you need something like this in the wardrobe. Um, yeah, so uh, the other dress, I will show you. Hang on, I'll just show you that. I got this dress too, which um, is also polyester. But it's a really nice print it's got a slight silky sheen to it but it's too small for me it was almost obscene you could see everything including my for breakfast so it's got this it's buttoned through um and it's got this kind of seam here with the gathers and in an extra large how much was this this was 32.99 so i think it's it's a good looking dress for the money and quite smart it's got a dolman sleeve um well it's kind of yeah dolman ish i'd say but yeah not a bad dress just too small for me extra large should have been better it's got the elastic around the back so i just thought i'd show you that and now i've just got a suit to show you and the final piece is this suit that's sold as separate so i got the jacket in a large and an extra large and the extra large is kind of too big all over but this is a little bit, I can do it up, but it's a bit snug. I've just kept my vest top on underneath it. I love this colour. I absolutely love it. They describe it as dark green. How can that be dark green? It's a really soft sage green. The jacket would be $37.99 and the trousers are $24.99. And um, I'm not sure what this is made of. 
can just check. Uh, viscose and polyester and elastane. So I just absolutely love the colour. The trousers are too small. I mean, I've got them done up, but um, they're a good length and they're a lovely shape, but they are too tight on me. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to show you what's available, really. The trousers, I love this shape. They're perfect length on me. They don't come in length, so this is just, um, you know, this the size 20. And it's got this really innovative waistband. It's got a thick piece of elastic on the inside of the waistband. So if you are, you know, bigger hips, oh, that's charming, isn't it? If you are bigger hips, but a smaller waist, it just comes in and sits nicely on your um, waist here. Because I often have that. because I've got this deep S in my back. So sometimes, um, you know, that's an issue. But these are just generally too tight for me. So um, I'll just move you around. Hang on. So that's today's um, H&M haul in my cabin, clobber in my cabin, whatever you want to call it. And um, I hope to get this up today. I, I do need to show you quickly this bra. Um, Bravissimo very kindly said, did I want to choose um, a bra from their autumn collection? And I chose this one. I'm very pleased with it. It's a um, beautiful colour. It's called Rose. I'm trying to remember what, what it is. I'll link it down below, but it's... Um, I'd say it's kind of a good everyday bra. It's quite low cut and it has got the kind of lace edging. But um, for me, that's kind of almost skin coloured. So I'm really happy with it. They also sent me the rather beautiful pants, which um, might come out of this celebration. <laughs> anyway, that's me for now. Um, I'm not sure what will be next, but uh, enjoy whatever you're doing and I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.